If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Rays. Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. So today we actually started getting our first bits of promotional stuff for Call of Duty 2019 or Modern Warfare 4 as it has been leaked by the Wu lad. So we have a ton of confirmed info. So we have a lot of leaked information from the Wu lads, but we haven't had anything concrete or basically anything from the source. You know, obviously Activision and Call of Duty haven't come out and teased anything just yet. But today we actually started getting images from a lot of college football stars and NFL stars who were posting on Instagram using the hashtag Call of Duty Partner that they had been able to play the newest Call of Duty coming this year. And a lot of people currently are trying to break down these images to see if they can spot anything. But it says Call of Duty, that's the only thing it says. It doesn't say Modern Warfare 4 or Ghost 2 or Infinite Warfare 2. Whatever game you guys want it to be, there is no title name just yet. Now, again, like I said, there has been leaked stuff from the Wulad saying that this is Modern Warfare 4 that there might not be zombies because of a lot of the restructuring that was going on there. Obviously, the Ross leaving and all that stuff, but we'll talk about that a little bit more in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and talk about these images, and then you guys can tell me what you guys think. So, the first one was actually posted by Show9 on Instagram, and a lot of these are actually on Instagram, and you guys will see just kind of like a little slideshow of these different images, but basically his description says, just played the new COD, it's lit. Definitely gonna grab that when it drops. Hashtag Call of Duty Partner. This one's followed by uh, it looks like Rilo underscore 12, and pretty much said the same thing. Just had the opportunity to play the super cool new Call of Duty in Nashville, Call of Duty Partner, and it looks like they were at maybe like a hotel or something. I can't really tell. The next one was posted by Keel on Twitter. He said exclusive shout out to Call of Duty for early look at this year's game. Hashtag COD Partner. And then the one after that is actually a shot of a couple of people here. Uh, downtown Nashville, NFL Drafts. So I guess that's why they're down there. I don't really watch football. Like I watch the Bears, but I don't really watch a lot of like everything else in the league. But it just says checking out the new Call of Duty and they're all in front of the same kind of sign. Now the next shot is actually of the actual recording or playing area and it looks really cool so they have a pool table someone's playing over at there's a bunch of monitors here that other people are playing at and this is kind of like the one where people are trying to break it down and try to <laughs> trying to find out which game this is whether it's modern warfare 4 like it's been leaked or if it's going to be ghost 2 maybe or maybe infinite warfare 2 <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's infinite warfare 2 though but uh, like i was saying so this is a nice clean shot so you guys can see of them playing now some people are saying well maybe they're just playing call of duty mobile but they're all using controllers as you can see so this is not call of duty mobile so i think a lot of people were thinking that this was maybe they're just playing the cod mobile version of it but i doubt that they would do an event like this for a free-to-play mobile game they probably want to get them playing the official game now the last thing was a video that was posted of the same area where they're all playing and again it's just very hard and difficult to pick out what exactly this is whether this is modern warfare 4 or a different call of duty so let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below we might be getting more information on this coming up here over the next several hours so i'm gonna go ahead and wait to see if anything else does come out but if not then you know this is the information we have and we're probably going to be seeing a teaser hopefully here very soon now we do have the next operation for black ops 4 starting up on tuesday so if I had to guess, I'd say we're probably still a couple of weeks, maybe three or four weeks away from the first teaser image or whatever we get for Modern Warfare 4. I'm just going to call it Modern Warfare 4 because it's been kind of leaked by the Wulads who so have been very, very good with their track record. So like I'm saying, I think we're not going to get any kind of teaser, like official teaser teaser until maybe like three weeks or uh, two weeks from now because we have the new operation starting up. This is the final week that we have here for... Uh, this operation grand heist and so I think that really they're kind of gonna wait a little bit wait for a couple of weeks to go by with this new operation and then maybe they will drop this information but I think early May late May is going to be when we actually do see this so that's just my own personal opinion so as far as you guys maybe you haven't seen any of my other videos where I talked a little bit about the leaked info that we have so far here for modern warfare 4 via the Wu lads but we have quite a bit of info so far we've got a campaign that is apparently coming it's an actual campaign i think some people at the time were thinking that the modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 remastered games that 
are also rumored and leaked by the Wulads to be coming as well with Modern Warfare 4. They thought that those were going to be the campaigns and that it was going to replace the campaign for Modern Warfare 4, but the Wulads have already confirmed themselves. And I think there's also actually, even from the official posts where we had the little earnings conference calls, things that Activision usually does, in those they mentioned that it was going to be rooted in franchise history, which obviously Modern Warfare series is the most. Uh, Ghost was a one-off and then we had also Infinite Warfare which also was kind of like its own one-off so obviously the one that's rooted in the franchise is going to be Modern Warfare so there we had that information they mentioned it was going to have a campaign and also a co-op experience which could be either Spec Ops I don't know if they're doing zombies even the Wulads have mentioned that Lee Ross has left he already confirmed he's working for Treyarch and I think Brian Bright was like stepping down to a different role or stepping up to a different role. I can't remember what exactly it was, but they are also still not denying that zombies is not going to be there. It looks like Brian Bright was actually tweeting the other day saying that the rest of the staff that works on the Infinite Warfare zombie stuff is still there and that they're doing an amazing job. So maybe they're teasing that we're still getting zombies or they could be working on some other co-op mode. It could be Spec Ops. It could be something completely different, but I wouldn't put it past them to come up with something new and amazing so we'll definitely have to see about that in terms of multiplayer we don't really have any information from the wool ads the only thing we got apart from that is information saying that we are going to get a reveal teaser trailer and that within that one there is going to be a pretty significant character reveal and i've been saying already that i think it's going to be ghost or or riley obviously or that it's going to be price i think also the wool ads were hinting that price is going to be one of the guys coming back they've been tweeting a lot about this eric has and so we might be seeing price we might be seeing ghost actually being a return as well as a character and we'll definitely have to see if we get any more info apart from that but we've had a lot of like weird leaked teaser trailers that i think maybe some of them are legit other ones seem like they're very fake so Anytime we get new information, I will definitely keep you guys covered here on the channel. But that's pretty much all we got. We got campaign. We've got obviously the Modern Warfare 2 and 3 remastered, which was supposed to come out apparently last year, but it got pushed up because of some shootings and stuff. And so that got pushed up, but we're supposedly still supposed to be getting that Modern Warfare 2 and 3 remastered campaigns only. No multiplayer for that. And then we're also supposed to have um, this reveal trailer and stuff so we'll definitely see what ends up happening with that guys but thank you guys so much for watching i want to let you guys know about this new uh, information that came out today for call of duty 2019 or modern warfare 4 it looks like we're getting those promotional stuff starting up now where call of duty partners are actually able to play this early and start promoting this on twitter instagram and other social media so this actually reminded me of a really funny incident from last year where I think there was someone who had like their manager or something like was emailing them about what they were supposed to post about this new Call of Duty for Black Ops 4 at the time. And I think they posted basically what the guy told them to say. So something along the lines of you just tell him that he just have to post hashtag Call of Duty, hashtag Call of Duty partner, hashtag Black Ops 4. And so the actual tweet was what they were telling him to say and not his own words, which was actually kind of funny. I think they deleted that one after, but it's still one of the most hilarious pieces of promotional failure that I've ever seen. But maybe we'll get one of those this time around. Let me know what you guys think about the images that we did get today. Did you spot something that I missed or that other people are maybe have been overlooking? I think a lot of people at the moment are just kind of deciding that they can see two factions so far and that's pretty much it so we don't know what exactly is going on they were very smart in making sure that it just said call of duty on the titles and stuff and it didn't exactly say anything else because that would have gotten leaked so freaking quick if like all these images and videos are coming out from the actual event that they were playing at and the actual setup so uh, they're pretty smart for having just put Call of Duty on the monitors and everything. So we'll definitely see. But again, I think that we're about two or three weeks out from an actual teaser. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video, guys. It's super, super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see news, info, rumors, leaks, and stuff like this for Black Ops 4 and COD 2019, then make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single upload, especially now youtube is really wonky and you really should have those notifications on otherwise you won't be receiving these videos frequently so 
make sure you have those notifications join the notification gang and if you guys do want to support the channel directly you guys can actually do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content exclusive videos special badges and a whole bunch more so go ahead and check that out only if you're willing and able to and then last but not least if you guys want to talk about anything twitter is the best place to talk i am constantly talking over there so go ahead and give me a follow at ogx i'll have a link down below you guys have an awesome day i'll see you guys next time and if we get more info you guys know that i will have you guys covered i'm out peace